Welcome back to our channel. Let's start with the news today. Kansas Governor vetoes transgender sports ban, parental bill of rights. Governor Laura Kelly vetoed the Fairness in Women's Sports Act for the second year in a row. Story at a glance. Kansas's Democratic Governor Laura Kelly on Friday vetoed two bills which have been previously criticized for targeting members of the LGBTQ community. One of the bills would have barred transgender women and girls from competing on school sports teams aligning with their gender identity, and the other would have created a parental bill of rights, allowing parents to challenge learning materials inconsistent with their personal beliefs. State GOP leadership in the legislature legislature has pledged to seek overrides for both bills once the session resumes April 25. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly D. on Friday vetoed a pair of bills condemned by LGBTQ plus advocates as discriminatory against LGBTQ plus people in the state. One of them, a transgender athlete ban, would have barred trans women and girls from competing on sports teams that match their gender identity. The other would have established a parental bill of rights, granting public school parents the ability to review and challenge classroom materials inconsistent with their personal beliefs. Under the first bill, or the Fairness in Women's Sports Act, public school sports teams from the elementary to the university level would be designated by biological sex or a student's sex assigned at birth. Athletic teams or sports designated for females, women or girls shall not be open to students of the male sex, the bill reads, using language identical to last session's Senate Bill 55 that was also vetoed by Kelly. We all want a fair and safe place for our kids to play and compete, Kelly wrote Friday in a veto message. However, this bill didn't come from the experts at our schools, our athletes, or the Kansas State High School Activities Association. It came from politicians trying to score political points. Similar to legislation recently passed in Kentucky, the Kansas bill by including collegiate athletics likely runs afoul of National Collegiate Athletic Association NCAA rules, potentially threatening state universities' participation in NCAA sports and championship events. Attempts to bar transgender people from athletics have been thwarted in Idaho and West Virginia and lawsuits are pending against similar bans in Tennessee and Florida. But many have argued that such legislation is needed to protect the integrity of women's sports, particularly as transgender athletes like the University of Pennsylvania's Leah Thomas allegedly edge cisgender women out of competitive athletic opportunities. After Kentucky state legislators voted to override the governor's veto on the state's own transgender athlete ban, University of Kentucky swimmer Riley Gaines, who tied with Thomas for a fifth-place NCAA title in March, accused the athletic assication of failing to protect cisgender women like herself, adding that biological Logical males should not be competing against women. On Friday, Kansas Republicans nodded in agreement. Men should not be competing in women's sports, Kansas Attorney General Derek Schmidt, one of a handful of Republicans seeking to challenge Kelly for the governor's office this year, tweeted after the veto, Governor Kelly today vetoed, for the second time, a bill to implement that common sense principle. I would have signed the bill into law. Kelly on Friday also vetoed a bill that would have given parents in the state greater authority to challenge learning materials inconsistent with their firmly held beliefs, values or principles, which LGBTQ plus advocates have previously said would likely target topics related to sexual orientation and gender identity. In a veto message, Kelly said more than 100 parents in Kansas had testified against the bill, arguing such legislation would only fan the flames of division and would likely end up being unnecessarily costly for the state. Money that should be spent in the classroom would end up being spent in the courtroom, the governor wrote Friday. Bills aiming to strengthen the rights of parents in their children's education have been introduced in at least seven other states. State GOP leadership in the legislature has pledged to seek overrides for both bills once the session resumes April 25th. This is the end of our news today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for our channel. Time for watching and see you next time.